Have you ever wondered what it feels like to be Master Chief? Well, today we're finding out. In this video, I will be wearing Master Chief's armor for 50 hours straight. Backstory. I saw this video by Zealous where he wore an Iron Man suit for 50 hours and it got me thinking. Our Master Chief has got a brand new set of shiny Halo Infinite armor, which means his old armor is sitting in the closet. Calling my name. I mean, who in their right mind would pass up an opportunity to be Master Chief for a couple days, right? This is gonna be my next home for the next 50 hours. I'm going to eat in this armor, sleep in this armor, go out in public in this armor. It feels so good. <laughs> Whatever I do in the next 50 hours will be as Master Chief. It is 10.07 Wednesday, May 25th. The 50 hours starts now. Austin, how do I look? Do I look cool? Yeah. Sweet. This cheap armor was actually fairly comfortable. I could move around pretty well. This challenge may seem easy now, but trust me, this video is about to get crazy. The only thing that wasn't looking good was my actual vision. My visor's fogging up. Is yours fogging up? This is a problem. I can't see anything right now. Okay, I'm gonna make a rule. If Master Chief in the Paramount Plus show can take off his helmet, and so can I, right? Does that make sense for this challenge? Please, I, I play, come on, just don't rush me in the comments because I can't really. If I keep this on, it's just gonna be a time lapse of me sitting on the couch. That's not fun, all right? All right. No, 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 wait, whoa, whoa, not you. You're actually Master Chief. I'm just an imposter. So the first thing I did was some uh, normal people stuff, washing the dishes, cleaning up the house. And I was about to move along when <laughs> I started to think. Hey, don't get sweaty at the very beginning of this challenge, you dumb dumb. Yeah, I think I'm gonna save mowing for another day. Good idea, Brad. And then it was time to learn something important from the man himself, how to be Master Chief. Well, that's all I gotta do is kick trash cans and dance. Pretty easy. What's that? We've only been doing this for 15 minutes, man! Looks like I'm doing this by myself. So a few hours passed, and then I had an incredible idea! <sighs> Austin, there's no way I'm gonna be able to drive this car. You're a part of this whether you like it or not, Austin! <laughs> it is 12.07, that means we've been in this suit for two hours, and it's time for some food! And if I'm hungry, then probably the most important person to me in my whole entire world is probably hungry, right? I'm talking about my wife. And because I'm such a great husband, I'm going to get her lunch and hand deliver it to her at work. Now that wouldn't be embarrassing at all. But first! Don't mind me, I'm just here for some Axe body spray. Getting kind of stuffy in that suit? <laughs> a little, you know, I'm gonna get a couple of these to prepare myself. All right, let's go get food. This is for you, Jessica. Oh crap, there's a lot of people in here. I'm getting so many looks here, dude. This is so funny. <laughs> Oh my god, this lady just dropped her umbrella. Sounds like a job for me. me. <laughs> Man, is this yours? It is, you're wonderful. <laughs> ah, the hero we deserve. Oh, Austin's in trouble. Don't allow filming. Oh, I guess we're going to Slotsky's. <laughs> wow, Austin, we got kicked out. Don't care if we get a picture with you? Of course. Panera, what are you doing? We just wanted some food. I was just trying to be a nice husband. All right, Slotsky's, this is a test. Undercover boss. <laughs> All right, here we go. There you go, Master Chief. I don't think we're getting kicked out, Austin. <laughs> no, you ain't gonna kick out, boy. Slotsky's. <laughs> Best day of work ever. Kicking Master Chief out. Heck, no, you're not. I should not have gotten a drink. Why should I not have gotten a drink? Well, because of our urination situation. I need to go easy on the liquids. My plan is to hold my pee as long as humanly possible because I have really no idea how to go to the bathroom in this thing. But that's a problem for another time. Now it's time to embarrass my wife. Have fun, man. I love you, Jessica. I love my wife. I love my wife. Hopefully she loves me after today. I come bearing gifts. Oh, you're doing something right now? She's in an emergency, so I can wait. What are you doing? All right, Tober, I'm gonna give you the scoop. Are you gonna sleep in it? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how you'll be out for the next 50 hours, but we'll see. You can come and smell test me. That's okay. Okay. I have chicken for you. Thank you. Mwah. I gotta love you. on this dog now. Okay. Should I do anything here to embarrass you more? Please don't. All right. I'll see you later. Enjoy your chicken. All right, let's leave. Well, that went well. 10 out of 10. Would do again. What's your stupid husband doing today? <laughs> okay, so it's 2.08 and I'm starting to get a little bit of a headache. I'm going to start drinking a little bit more of water. I'd rather have to pee than have a headache, you know what I mean? You got a long way to go. Thanks, Mikey. You got kicked out of Panera I am determined to make it 50 hours no matter what. But like Mikey said, I still have 46 hours to go. And this comfort, it's not gonna last long. It is 5.07. That means I have been in the suits for seven hours. I drank a bunch of water, so my headache is now gone. But consequently, I have to pee a little bit more now. My shoulders are a little bit sore, but also a manageable thing. But hey, my spirits are good, and it's not raining anymore, which is perfect for what's next. A baseball game with my friends. Did you cut a pee hole yet? No, but that honestly might be the move. Hi. Are we allowed in here? How long have you been in this suit? I think we're uh, eight hours now. I was like, wow, well, he's cute. <laughs> oh my god. Hi. Give me a hug, my man. How are you doing? <laughs> what the heck is happening right now? I'm having an ultra good time. Oh my. I was so happy to be hanging out with my friends that I totally forgot about the challenge <laughs> for a little bit. You're not bathroom for 50 hours? No, I can bathroom. It's just an ordeal. If I have to go, we are going to have to leave. So I hope you're not invested in this baseball game. <laughs> 
Um, and they kept giving me food and beer. It never stopped. He's perfectly capable of feeding himself. I've got gloves on. You want me to get my gloves dirty? The game was an absolute blast. Is that a strike? Heck yeah. Until the inevitable happened. I think my fuel tank is getting a little bit to the overfilled. Is that making... We need to leave. He needs to go. Come on. Like, seriously, like, come on. Please, let's come on, Austin. What a time to be alive. Unlock the truck. Okay, problem, big problem. We're in a pickle. Okay, let's just say I have to pee a lot. There's only one outcome here, and it's out. There's no way I'm holding this in. No, 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 don't do that. Oh, God, so much. Austin, go give me the scissors. <laughs> I'm free. No, 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 God dang, dude. In my time of need. I'm so sorry you had to see that. Thank God I have this hockey girdle thing over my onesie, you know? Cover up my incision. Again, I'm so sorry, but problem solved. It's been a big day. I'm glad we got the bathroom thing figured out. And now it's time for the biggest challenge yet, sleep. Are you sure I can't just like lay? Are you sure? Yeah. You sure? Sure? Wish me luck, I guess, out here. I'll see you in the morning. Let's just fast forward through this terrible night's sleep, shall we? Ugh. <laughs> Last night was rough. I'm tired and I'm sore, but my spirits are high. And we're almost halfway there. Oh, bless his heart. He thinks that night's sleep was bad. You're really not gonna like what's next. But first, well, I'm hungry for some breakfast. And it's time to start that day off with a sponsor of today's video, Magic Spoon. Magic Spoon is a healthy breakfast cereal that provides very delicious flavors, but is surprisingly good for you. As a kid, I was a huge cereal boy, but popular cereals are chock full of sugar. They taste great, but they're also really bad for you. Imagine starting your day off with a spoonful of sugar, right? I mean, it may help the medicine go down, but is it gonna help the rest of your day? Yeah, probably not. Well, what about a spoonful of zero total sugars, five net carbs, and 13 grams of protein, huh? My favorite flavor is the honey nut, but there are so many great flavors to choose from. Magic Spoon is keto-friendly, gluten-free, grain-free, soy-free, and low-carb. They are good for you, but they also taste amazing. Best of both worlds. And Magic Spoon is so confident in their product that it is back for the 100% happiness guarantee. So if you don't like it for any reason, they'll refund your money, no questions asked. So click the link in my description and use the offer code impact props, or go to Magic Spoon.com slash impact props and get your variety pack today. I'm the king of the world. Thank you, Magic Spoons, for sponsoring this video and giving me energy to complete this challenge. So it's 10.04. I've been in this suit for almost 24 hours. I stink so bad. <laughs> if we're gonna do anything outside the house for the rest of this challenge, I have to challenge. And there's only so much that Axe body spray can really do. If it really does anything, I think it makes me smell worse. Caleb, can you come over here and do a smell test? Uh, if I do it here, I will be tracking water throughout the house and then my wife will be mad at me. Do we have any other uh, options? And here's when I had dumb idea number one. <laughs> Pressure washer to the face to start your morning. Oh man, this was a stupid idea. But I smell pretty good. A little better. <laughs> it's so cold. Yeah, because you're wet and it's 50 degrees outside, you ding dong. How are we gonna dry off? Oh god, you can see it in his face. Here comes dumb idea number two. I think the biggest problem here is that I'm probably going to be wet for the next five hours. Why did I do this? Hey Brad, have you ever thought to use your brain when coming up with these ideas? Yeah. Oh, please work. Oh, whoa. Oh. You need to get in here or something? This was dumb, 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 dumb. Up, 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 here comes idea number three. Oh, yeah. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. I'm so wet. Shout out to Tommy's Express Car Wash. Rebecca, you're so awesome. There's only so much those jet turbines can do before melting my suit off. Uh, do we have any other ideas? So it's 11.59. I am feeling terrible <laughs> right now. I am super cold. All the places where there are multiple layers of fabric are still wet. And I'm afraid are going to be wet for a while. Feeling a little bit fatigued, a little bit irritated. <laughs> My plan right now is to sit here in this lawn chair and air dry. Did I mention that I'm like itchy? Like a wet swimsuit? You know how that feels. I wasn't doing good at all. Sometimes you make dumb decisions and you got to live with the consequences. I couldn't sit. I couldn't lay down. The only thing I could do was wait. 12.47. I think I'm kind of this dryish. Dry enough to go inside. I guess that's good. Now that I was somewhat dry, I decided to be productive, which really helped pass the time. 
Update, we are at 4.15. That means I've been in the suit for 30 hours. I have 20 more hours to go. I'm pretty exhausted. A combination of not getting a good night's sleep and having to stand up and air dry. I'm not as wet as I was. Sitting down is not a bad thing anymore. 30 hours in, I have still have yet to go number two, and I'm gonna continue trying to hold out on that because as you can imagine, one false move and the rest of the challenge is a lot stinkier. <laughs> Honestly, I'm just tired. The motivation for completing this challenge is really not there at the moment. Starting this challenge, I was prepared for some pain, but uh, I didn't really expect the mental challenge that I'm going through right now. And I've been thinking like, why the heck am I really doing this? I would like nothing more than to get out of this suit, take a shower, and then go to sleep. But just when I needed some motivation, my best friend Ryan showed up. Oh my God. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care if your butt's wet, if you got chills, if you got bleeding out of your shoulders. Everybody has bleeding shoulders every once in a while. You just gotta throw a band-aid on and get out there and finish your 50-hour challenge. Say it with me, I'm Brad and I'm not a quitter. I'm Brad and I'm not a quitter. Louder! I'm Brad and I'm not a quitter! That's right, now we're gonna go take your mind off of this and go bowling. <laughs> we're gonna go bowling, okay? I'm so blessed to have you in my life. I know you are. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I completely it's forgot that he's still in the suit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Brad. I feel like I have to wear the helmet whenever I bowl. Well, you gotta use the targeting system. See, his mood's already better. I mean, I may suck, but this is fun. This was exactly what I needed. Something to take my mind off my current state. Hey. Maybe that's why Pablo took the suit off so much. I didn't wind up like you, drinking at a bowling alley. Alone. I'm not alone. I'm here with you guys. And then I realized how lucky I really am. I took this challenge on my own accord, but these amazing people came out to support me, to push me, to keep me going so that I could cross the 50 hour mark in style. You can do this, man. When you're feeling down and you're feeling out, and you feel like you're just gonna get a lot of dough. All right. Ah. It is almost 10 o'clock, so that means we have almost 14 hours left. Bowling was fun, I really needed that. At the end of the day, Ryan's right. If you say you're gonna do something, you gotta do it. I'm exhausted, I'm sweaty, I smell so bad. I can pee, at least I can pee. I don't have to go number two yet, which is insane. I mean, I'm in good spirits. All I need to do is go to sleep, wake up in the morning, and we got a couple hours left. I think we're gonna make this happen. See you in the morning. Oh, I look terrible. Today is day three of the challenge, Friday, May 27th. It is 9.44. Surprisingly, I'm in pretty good spirits this morning. I actually was able to sleep pretty good last night. I really stink now though. I feel like I gotta throw up. I feel so gross right now. Less than two hours left. Nothing is gonna change my mood for today because we are finishing this 50 hour challenge. Strong baby. This is horrible. <laughs> We're coming up on an hour left in this challenge. I have to poop now, so that's great. It is 11.07, Friday, May 27th. That means that I have one more hour to be in this suit, and I am so ready to get out. Looking back on the last 49 hours, I feel like I really underestimated this challenge. Not physically, I knew it was gonna hurt, but mentally. I got to a weird spot yesterday that I never normally get to, but I'm very happy that I have fantastic friends that help me get out of that. So with one hour left, I feel like there's only one way to end this challenge, and that is right where it started. What time is it? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh God, we've got 10 minutes. <laughs> the last 10 minutes of this challenge, I've learned a lot about myself over the last three days. Your word is really all you got. If you say you're gonna do something, you gotta follow through. And in the title of this video, in the thumbnail of this video, I said that I would be in this suit for 50 hours. And in five minutes, I will have done that. Would I do it again? Maybe we do something like this again for charity? I'm just so excited for this thing to be over, man. 12.06, 12.07, 12.07. I have officially been in Master Chief's armor for 50 hours. Yes! Thank you guys for watching. I gotta get out of this suit. Oh, it feels so good. Oh, the salt bite. Oh, the breeze. Oh, the flowers. I can smell the flowers. I can smell the flowers when I was in the suit, but I can smell the flowers. What a freaking challenge. If you want to see something like this again, make sure to let me know in the comments. I'm free to go to the bathroom. I'm going to go to the bathroom.